Mrs. Denise Martin, 79 years old, was hospitalized with a fractured right hip. She underwent surgery two days ago. Mrs. Martin has a history of hypertension, cognitive impairment, and myopia. She wears glasses. Although she was diagnosed with mild dementia six months ago, she is able to manage well at home where she lives with her husband. At the beginning of her shift, the day nurse reviews the patient's file and goes to her bedside to check on her general condition and plan future interventions. Hi, Julie. Uh, the patient's name is Mrs. Martin, 79 years old. She had right hip surgery, an internal fixation by surgical reduction, two days ago. She has a history of hypertension and mild cognitive problems, but is oriented in all three spheres. She started eating again yesterday. Full diet tolerated despite little appetite, no nausea, no vomiting. She moves with the assistance of her person. Her vital signs are normal and she does not require any oxygen. Examination reveals crackles at the base of the left lung. Overnight, her pain was an 8 out of 10 at the surgical wound, so she was given an oral hydromorphone tablet. At 6 a.m., she felt relief at 1 out of 10. Uh, her wound is intact except for a little redness and the staples are still in place. Thank you. Sleep well. Thanks, I'll need it. <laughs> Considering the inter-service report, the priority action is pulmonary auscultation. Good morning. Oh, good morning. My name is Julie. I'll be a nurse for today. Hi, Julie. Hi. Hi. Could I have your full name and your date of birth, please? Oh, yeah, sure. My name is Denise Martin, and I was born on March 31st, 1943. Perfect. I'm just going to have a look at your bracelet, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What I'll be doing this morning is I'll be taking your vital signs, uh -huh. okay? And yeah. I'll be listening to your lungs after. Okay. Okay? Yeah, Perfect. Sure. Let's turn that on here. Okay. Okay. Oh, the yes, on your finger. thingy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, on your finger. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be taking your temperature also. Goes under your tongue. So I'll be sitting you up a bit more, and we'll be listening to your lungs, okay? Okay, and we'll maybe push down my, my legs there, because yes. I, I like it when it's... <laughs> it's all good. Uh, yeah. No worries. Okay. Yeah. Okay, are you comfortable like that? <sighs> yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be, t I'll be ask you to take deep breaths, okay, With this, when I put my stethoscope on your back. Okay. On examination, the nurse notes fine crackles in the lower left lobe. Blood pressure is normal, respiratory rate is 24, regular, with good amplitude. Saturation is 96 on ambient air, and the patient has mild dyspnea. Still good? Yeah, you're making me a bit dizzy though. Okay. You're good? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, go. Based on the results of the assessment, the priority action is to encourage breathing and coughing exercises. All done? So you seem short of breath a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have you do your breathing exercises. Okay. And also coughing exercises. 
the breathing exercises is like okay so what you take is you take a deep breath yeah okay you hold it for three seconds okay you do that four times I repeat four oh, times Oh, like they made me do that last yes. night yeah exactly I, I remember now yes exactly okay, okay so yeah. have a seat okay the patient performs her deep breathing and coughing exercises and expectorates when she is finished. Following the next checkup, the saturation is 97% and the breathing is 22. Perfect. Is that okay? That's perfect. Okay. So we'll be doing your coughing exercises, okay? okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I gotta cough real hard, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. Here's some Kleenexes. Oh, okay. Another Kleenex. Yes. <coughs> like that? Perfect. <coughs> How do you feel? It's okay. I'm good. Yeah. Better? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Perfect. Better. Mm. The nurse proceeds with the general assessment and the patient complains of pain, which she rates at 6 out of 10. She asks to receive an analgesic before moving to the comote. The nurse notes that the patient is alert and oriented in space and person, but not in time. Analgesia is administered and the day proceeds as planned. And from 0 to 10, how much would it be at? The next day, the nurse begins her rounds and the following situation arises. Who are you? Who, Who are you? This? My name is Julie. I'm your nurse. You're I, in the hospital. I'm not in the right place. You're in the hospital. I'm you not. had a hip surgery two I, days ago. Where am I? You're in the hospital. It's in the morning. It's Sunday morning. You're in the hospital. <sighs> okay, you had surgery at your right hip, okay? Oh. That's why you're here. And it hurts. That's why yes. it hurts. That's why you have some pain at your hip. Because um, you had surgery two yeah. days ago. I'm here to help you, okay? Where's Eve? Eve? He, he's supposed to be with me. He's always with me at home. Your husband Wait, is at where home is right now. Your husband is at home. You're in the hospital. He'll come to see you a little later, okay? Huh. He will come by, okay? But right now, I brought your breakfast. We're just going to eat, okay? He? He's at home. He'll be here very soon, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to sit you, bring you your breakfast, yeah. okay, because it's morning, okay? Yeah. We're going to sit right up, we're going to get some, get some food in, okay? Oh, it hurts. Yeah. Oh. All right, okay. All right, so I'm going to bring you your breakfast. Okay. Here you go. So you've got some porridge, okay, some milk, some chocolate milk. You don't want to eat? It's important to eat, okay? That's how you're going to feel better. It's going to help you feel better, okay? Are you comfortable? Okay. I'll, I'll give you your, your breakfast here. Here you go, okay? I'm Julie. I'm your nurse here today, okay? All right. Depending on the situation, the priority action is to reorient the patient since she is showing signs of disorientation and anxiety. In the event that the patient's condition persists or deteriorates, it is appropriate to look for another cause such as pain. Thus, the administration of an analgesic may be considered. The use of restraints is not indicated since it could contribute to the patient's state of agitation. Okay, so I'm going to give you some water. It's going to keep you hydrated, okay? You need to stay hydrated, okay? So here's some water. As a result of the behavioral changes noted, the nurse will initiate a delirium screening questionnaire to assess changes in the patient's neurological status. I also bring you, brought you your glasses. Age, yeah. hospitalization, mm -hmm. and a history of cognitive impairment increase the risk yeah. of developing delirium. Where's he? 
To minimize the level of disorientation and signs and symptoms of delirium, the nurse must ensure the following. Proper hydration, wearing hearing and visual aids, good pain assessment, including the use of opioids when required, and a sleep-friendly environment. Banana. Do you like bananas? Do you like porridge? Yes? Hello, Mr. Martin. I am Natalie Cardinal, your wife's physician. The nurse tells me that you have concerns about Mrs. Martin's cognitive status. That's right. I'm concerned that her delirium is getting worse because she has mild dementia. We manage well, but I'm afraid I can't take her home now. She seems so confused. Yes, you're in the hospital. Yes, she is more confused than usual, but this is a transitory condition due to the hospitalization and surgery. She should get better. Thank you very much, doctor. Good? Not very good. <laughs> okay. Try to get some banana. Okay, how's your pain? Well, it hurts. It hurts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From zero to ten? Eight days after her surgery, the signs of delirium in the patient have diminished and she is able to follow instructions and participate fully in the therapy ordered. She is therefore transferred to the rehabilitation unit. In order to prepare for the transfer, the patient-designated nurse contacts the reception nurse in the rehabilitation unit to inform her of Mrs. Martin's arrival and to share information relevant to her condition. Hi, my name is Julie. I'm calling from the surgical unit to transfer Mrs. Denise Martin to your rehabilitation unit. Denise Martin is a 79-year-old female with a history of hypertension, mild cognitive impairment. She is also oriented in all three spheres. She was admitted eight days ago for reconstructive surgery, which was an internal fixation by surgical reduction on her right hip following a fall at home. The incision is dry and intact with staples still in place. She developed del delirium during her stay, which is slowly resolving. She is able to participate fully in prescribed care and therapy, but needs to be redirected at times. Her family was prepare has prepared a memory book that she keeps on her bedside table. It helps her when she is confused. She asks to take medication, pain medication, which is acetaminophen daily, and prefers to receive it at the beginning of her therapy. Her recent pain rating was 3 out of 10, and she requested a 650 oral pain medication an hour ago. She's eating and hydrating well. Her last bowel movement was this morning, and her abdomen remains supple. She had fine crackles in her left lower lobe and shortness of breath two days post-op, but everything is back to normal. She needs to be reminded to do deep breathing exercises and coughing exercises. She is accompanied by her husband, Eve Martin, who visits her daily. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>